All right, Amber, we're back for another tutorial on the Lowrance HDS Live Series units. What I'm going to show you guys today is how to import and export GPX and USR files, as well as determining what the difference is and why you would use a GPX versus a USR file. So we'll jump into it here. Loaded up on my screen, I have two waypoints and two tracks. You can see that the stop sign, the blue stop sign uh, icon here, is the change to blue so in this menu here there's uh, all the different colors that you can set the stop sign icon to and the top left is the default color which is red but we're going to leave it blue for today's example and same kind of thing over here with the uh, the tp so the default default color of the tp is yellow Whereas here I have it set to red. And this is going to be important for our example. So just stick with me here. We'll leave that red and we will exit out of that menu. So next we're going to want to go ahead and export this data. So we'll go ahead and hit the pages button. And then we will go to storage. And then from storage, we'll click on this waypoints icon in the, the top center area there, the big one. And then we'll have this details, waypoints, routes, trails, and trips box pop up. Uh, if you just click export here on the bottom left, it will export all of the data that's in your unit. Um, but if you hit export region, it will give us the option to uh, draw a box around everything we want to export. So. From here, we'll just grab these red uh, X's to expand this red box out to encompass all of the data that we're wanting to export. So once that's done, you'll just hit the export button in the bottom right. And we're gonna save two different versions of this. We're gonna start with the user data file version six, which is the default here. We'll just hit export and I do have an SD card loaded in the unit. So we're gonna save it to the SD card with that uh, highlighted blue, and then hit okay. We will then tap on new. That way we can set our new file name in here. And so I'm just gonna set this to uh, video, video test. This is just a test file for us here. And then once that name is in there, we'll hit enter and this box will disappear and that file will have been saved to the SD card. Now we're gonna do this process uh, all over again one more time. Come back into here, the waypoints, export region. Then open up that square so everything's in there then hit export. But this time, when the box pops up, instead of selecting user data file version six, we're gonna go all the way to the bottom here where it says GPX. And so that way, it's just a different file type that has its own advantages. And I'll get into more of that in just a few minutes. So we'll hit export again, leave the memory card uh, highlighted blue, click OK and then we'll have to set the name for this one uh, as well, just like we did before. I'm gonna name this one video test uh, as well. And it's not gonna override the other file because they are two different file types, but they'll have the same, the same name, which is okay. So we'll hit enter. And now that is also saved to our SD card. So, now that we have a backup of this data to show you the differences between the two, we're actually going to delete the data that we have stored in this unit. So we'll hit pages and then come back in here to storage, back to this waypoints, routes, and trails uh, window that we use to export the data. But this time we're just going to hit delete all, click yes, and all that data is now gone. And we can verify that by going to our, our waypoints list. And that waypoints list is going to be empty. 
and so will our trails and routes. The whole thing's blank now. So now that we've verified that, go back to our map. Obviously, all that stuff is, is no longer showing. So now we'll go back into our pages screen. Go to storage. Expand our memory card. And then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the list. Because uh, that's where our files are. We have a video test GPX and uh, video test USR. So for the first one, we're going to go ahead and tap on the GPX file and then click import. There will be a box that pops up that says, are you sure you want to import? Just make sure to click on yes. It'll let you know that the import was completed. And then you can close out all of these boxes. Now, when you get back to the map, you'll see that our data is here but our waypoints have changed color and so have our tracks. This is because the GPX file format isn't made in a way that allows those types of details to be retained when backing up and restoring your data. But the GPX format is a format that is very universal between different types of GPS software in the computer, as well as between different manufacturers of GPSs. So it's very flexible in that way but if you need something that's going to retain all of your colors on your icons and your tracks, that's where the USR file comes in. Now the USR files are only valid for Lowrance GPS units. They're not going to be transferable to other uh, manufacturers equipment, but if you're operating within Lowrance uh, hardware, then this is going to be perfect for you. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this data again. So it's all gone. And then we will just make sure that it's gone. We'll go jumping back to the map and then get back into our SD card here. And we'll import the other version of it, the USR version. So we'll click on the USR file in the list here and then go ahead and click import just like we did before. When it asks if you are you sure you want to import, make sure to click yes. And then you can close out all the boxes returning us back to the chart. Now you can see here that all of our colors were retained just like they originally were when we first started with our red TP, our blue stop sign, and our green and blue tracks. So uh, I hope that helps explain the difference between the two file formats and if you do need to use the data in your gps in your computer make sure to use that gpx file format uh, you can load it up in various programs such as google earth and a whole host of other different pieces of software you would easily do that by taking the sd card out of your gps unit putting in your computer and just copying those files over there are some other ways to transfer files uh, without an SD card, and I'll get into that again on another video. So make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on all these different tips and tricks on how these things work and various features that uh, as we get into this, we'll get more in depth and doing some pretty cool stuff that you may not have known that these units can do. So make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate you watching and we will catch you on the next one.